So seeding's been going really well. Uh, Joy and I spent the day yesterday weighing lambs. Excuse me. Uh, we weaned about a month ago, and I need to book two or three weeks ahead of time to get them into uh, the processing plant. I mean, where they go off to a better place, sorry. So they're looking a little bit heavier. These are the weaned lambs, these are the growing lambs. They look good. I'm sorry guys, they're all sleeping. There's a hefty boy. Uh, there's a few of them in there. So I thought, well, we better start weighing them just to see where they're at. And uh, it turns out there are a few that are three weeks away from being being ready. So, so with knowing the numbers of lambs I have, kind of the weights they're at, you can kind of estimate the feed requirements. Uh, it works out to about five pounds of feed intake for every pound gained. So I know the pounds they are today and all the gain they need. You can calculate the uh, amount of barley you need. That left me with about a Super B worth of extra barley. I'm gonna go over and load the truck here right away. Okay, the truck's gone. I left the auger here because we've got another truck coming, so I did notice this uh, wheel motor is a little bit loose. So I brought some wrenches here. We're going to get that tightened up. Um, Uh-oh, I brought too small. Oh, no, I brought too small wrenches. Oh, I did. Son of a gun. It's a three-quarter. That sucks. All right, so we've been in the field for most of May. just about done we've got probably three or four days left this is on the family farm of course so there hasn't been too much happening on the sheep side of things honestly my days for the most for most of the month of may has just been get up make sure everything's fed nothing's trying to kill itself and then uh, spend all day in a tractor so uh, as we get wrapped up here i'll start transitioning into getting fences ready got a bunch of fencing to do this summer um, a few other things so today's a pretty rainy day finally get a little bit of a break and uh, we've got some animals to look after I've got a few sick ones to treat there's been a tree down in my yard for a couple days so I'm finally gonna clean that up and uh, hopefully just take a bit of a rest finally but I noticed here yesterday <coughs> this little little leg came out poked out from under one of my feeders and I thought oh great what what got stuck under there and died no nope. Hey guys. Two kittens. Cat had her kittens, and she thought the safest place to hide them was under one of these big metal feeders in the middle of a lamb pen. I don't think I, uh, I agree with you on that one, but anyway. So I have weaned both uh, groups now. I think there's just a handful of ewes with lambs left in the barn. So that's just a bit of an update of what's been going on. Honestly, I've been releasing videos slowly, but uh, <coughs> I have not hardly filmed at all for the month of May here, so. Not a whole lot happening with the sheep these days, but we're in cleanup mode right now. Pens are all still manure from the winter. All the straw that we bed, we have to pile up and spread out on the fields. It rained last night, a torrential downpour for about 10 minutes. Beautiful sunny day. Welcome again to the Alberta weather report. It was cold in the morning. I rode my motorcycle to church and then I thought, oh, it's a nice day. I'll ride out to the mountains. So I did and it was sunny and then I got hailed on. Then it turned sunny again and then it poured rain. That was yesterday afternoon. So it's too muddy right now to clean some pens. And I'm just kind of mucking around in my silage pile here. My tractor's regenning, so I can't shut it off. But I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of my silage pile, how I make things work. It's a mess right now, but the plastic sticks out further, so the edge of the pile would be, well, you can see where the plastic ends. Um, silage is all in this area. And then I pile manure on the flat part of the plastic, and that seals the outsides nice and easy. There's no walls here, there's no pit. Uh, this is just a drive over pile. So when I'm done for the season, I go over and scrape all the uh, manure off the plastic and then ball it all up. It's not nice, the nicest job. Uh, and it's nice and warm today, which helps. It is a little bit muddy, um, <coughs> but I just want this all cleaned up and piled up so when I get the manure spreader out here, uh, I can clean this up with the rest of everything else. So I thought I would run out of silage in the 
season, but got probably 20 tons left and I stopped slicing strips of the plastic off a while ago. I've just been rolling it back, so. I've never saved silage before. We'll see how this works. Um, we don't have the heat that some of the like, southern US does through the summer. Um, we do have heat, which will definitely spoil silage, but I don't have to be as particular. We're gonna see 20 tons is worth saving. Ah, maybe. It's gotta be close to 20 there. Um, so I think I'm just gonna build the next pile and just keep growing from that and just see how it works. So when I've got probably three or four more days of feeding before we turn things out to pasture, uh, which time I'm just gonna seal the silage up, pray that it stays halfway as decent and continue on. Loader's making some noise, so I think I better give it some grease. The market's rising, gonna hit the sky. My profit margin's gonna be so high. I wanna be a sheep boy, I just cannot deny it's true. Haters gonna hate, talking's gonna talk. Well, I'm trying to get in between this pen here, but these sheep have kind of parked themselves right where I can't get in. One thing about sheep, they'll uh, they make sure to put themselves everywhere that is going to cause the most problems for you. They're not really in a hurry to move anywhere, they just want to be there in the way. All right, we got that job done. There's a, there's a lot of manure here. So we'll see. Should, thank you. Should have the spreader here, hopefully end of the week or next week. We'll get through this. This is the first pen done. We're gonna work on the other two. It's about, uh, oh, nine o'clock. Again, it's about nine o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna go mow my lawn for a bit, taking an easy night, and then we'll get back to the other pens tomorrow.